Hello, light workers, you beautiful people. How are you today? Today I'm talking about um, giving thanks and the importance of it. I know I've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again. I'm going to tell you something that happened to me. So, I'll see you on the other side. So something very special happened this weekend. Well, very special for me, which was that um, my two children uh, went and stayed with their grandparents for two nights. And in those two nights, Cynthia and I were able to um, live like, like a couple again, rather than like parents. And anybody who's been a parent and who's been a couple knows that parenthood is nothing like being a couple in terms of, you know, like being like girlfriend, boyfriend. So we had this fantastic weekend where we could do things together. We went to a party, we met all of our um, conspiranoical friends uh, and all, had a barbecue and everything. It was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But the other thing that we did was we were able to go for a run together. Cynthia and I run, both run, but she runs separately because somebody has to be with the kids. So we went for a run together and I said to her, would you like to come to the place that I go to where I give thanks? It's almost like I feel like I've been, I've been anchoring in that place an energy. It already has an energy, obviously, but I've been anchoring this energy of gratitude there for ages. So we ran to that place and I said, look, should we do it together? Um, because I do my gratitude out loud. Okay, just out loud. Um, and I pray and give thanks and, uh, and everything. So we did it, we took turns and she was saying what she was grateful for and then I was doing my thing and then she would say something else and, and we were there for like, you know, just 10 minutes, just giving thanks. I felt extremely emotional as we did that, especially when I was hearing my wife giving thanks for things. Um, and then we continued and I said to her, said, how do you feel now? How do you feel? And she said, well, I feel absolutely wonderful. It was such a beautiful experience. And so the reason I'm sharing that with you is that the power of giving thanks is immense. It can take you from a place where you're not feeling so great into a place where you're feeling wonderful. The power of giving thanks not just on your own, but with other people, is also extremely powerful, which I discovered. Just actually both people doing it and giving thanks. Now, where have we seen that? Well, we used to do that as a kiddie. I used to do that at the beginning of every meal. I would give thanks. We all would. We all would pray. You know what? It didn't do anything for me at all. Why? Because I was forced to do it. And why? Because it felt fake. It felt fake, you know. Come on, let's uh, uh, thank you, God, for this food. And it was said fakely. Why? I don't know. Because, well, because it was forced. Okay? Now, when I eat every meal, I give thanks. I actually give it power by doing this over the top, moving in a, in a, in a clockwise circle over the, to energize the food. And I'm at the time at the same time I'm giving thanks. And you know what? It's so genuine. I'm giving thanks for the food. I'm giving thanks that the food is is healing me. I'm giving thanks for the healing and for the energy that the food's giving me. Okay? I do that. Out loud too. But you know, years ago, when religion, I suppose, when religion first started, imagine it started like this: a group of people getting together and wanting to give thanks to God. That's what religion's about, is it not? Thank you, God, for all of this beauty. You know, thank you for what you've brought, brought us. Thank you for the nature. Thank you for everything that we have, the children, the, the family, the happiness. That's what it was all about. And then it was hijacked, wasn't it, by, by the baddies to mm, then just bring in a load of rules and regulations and and distance people from really from that feeling, that gratitude feeling of 
wow, thank you very much for this. Okay? So, this is where I think we have to get back to. We have to get away, step away from all of the all of the rules and the regulations and don't be mizzled. Don't be misled. We used to say mizzled when we were reading the Bible. Do not be mizzled. We used to think it was mizzled, it's misled. So do not be misled. Our world, our world of truthers or whatever, is filled with the same thing. Which if you're going to do it, you have to do it like this. If you're going to do it, you must do it this way, this way, this way. Don't believe it. Right? Don't believe that to meditate you've got to do this certain thing. Don't believe that to connect to God you've got to do this certain thing. You do not. You do it the way that you feel. You do it genuinely. And that's how it works. Don't be tied into um, these strange things that people tell you that it, you know if you do it this way it'll work. No, it works anyway you like it's the intention let me tell you a quick story there was a lady who was married to she got married to this man and every sunday she would do a sunday joint and she would get the beef joint or the love beef roll you know the rolled beef joint and she would chop the two ends off just a little sliver like this chop the ends off and then cook the joint and the husband used to say why are you chopping those bits off the end she goes well it's just you know I've always done it, my mum's always done it, and, and I, I believe it gives it the meat the better flavour. Okay? I thought, that's really strange. Anyway, one day, they were at the mum's, the, the, his wife's mother, and uh, he said to her, Hey, your daughter, you know, she chops the ends off, the, off the, the meat, like you do. Why do you do it? What's the purpose? She said, oh. Ah, oh, she said, it was just that, the, my, my bacon tin isn't big enough so I had to chop the ends off to make it fit okay that's the problem that we have in society sometimes we end up doing things because that's what's been done and we have no idea why it was done in the first place or it's meaningless don't get caught up in meaningless a uh, ritual is very good ritual is great because we anchor good feelings to ritual I have rituals however don't believe that you've got to fit in with the system of somebody else for you to be able to express yourself and to give thanks and to live your life. Live your life authentically. You don't need to be and do what other people are and are doing. Yeah, To be authentic, not at all. So give thanks. Give thanks as often as you can. I promise you that if you give thanks, you will feel like a million dollars. You will feel better than where you are. Even if life is giving you lemons, okay? Give thanks anyway. The very fact, you can give thanks at any time. The very fact that you're able to listen to me, no matter what your state, you were still alive, you were breathing, you've obviously eaten recently, yeah? You've got a roof over your head. Give thanks for all that you have. And also, give thanks for everything that you want, as though you already have it. That's the secret of bringing things into your life. Just give thanks for what you... Or, so my thanks is this. For example, I'll give you an example. Um, and, and, and my wife said exactly the same, and we've never talked about it. Thank you for all of the people that have come into my life to teach me. And I'm, I'm counting the bad and the good, eh? the lessons, the tough ones and the good lessons. Thank you for all the people who are in my life now, who were helping me and teaching me and making me a better person. And thank you for all of the people that are coming into my life and that will come into my life. Okay? That's how you do it. Give thanks for what you've had, they give thanks for what you've got and give thanks for what's coming. Yeah? That's how we, that's how we create a 360, that's how we create a 5D. Yeah? Giving thanks. Being grateful. It changes your energy, it changes your vibration, it changes who you are. And it changes the way that you look at life and it changes, more importantly, it changes the way that life looks at you. And that is something that's not quantifiable, but it's very real. 
life behaves differently with you when you are grateful. For, I mean, it makes absolute sense, doesn't it? You know, people who aren't grateful, people don't want to give them anything. Why would the universe want to give you something if you weren't grateful for it, if you were calling it names, if you were saying, oh, this shitty life? Give thanks for it. And everything will come. Everything will come. Have a beautiful week, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.